So I've put paint stripper, the first dose of paint stripper on my salvaged church doors to go in the vine house. So I gather I have to let it bubble up three times before I start stripping. So the first time you can see it's beginning to bubble up right there. But I'm gonna go away and leave it and probably come back tomorrow, do another dose of stripping or applying. So I have to do it, apply paint strip, uh, I was told three times. And after the third bubble up, I can then start scraping it. So I do love this gray, but I think I'd like to strip it back because these four panels potentially could have windows in them and leave these two panels solid at the bottom of the door. So it'll look really nice in the vine house, or sorry, when you're coming into the vine house. So you have the two solid doors and then the four glass doors. Maybe one day I can get, a f I have several friends who do stained glass and maybe they can do some lovely things there. Anyway, we'll s hopefully it'll fit. It might need some trimming or um, sanding or something to fit into the uh, opening that I have in the vine house, but very exciting. Yay! This is my Christmas project. So for those of you that know, this is the vine house built in 1929 originally, or 28 originally by my great grandfather. And this is the door, which is not an easy door to find. You can see up there the date that my great grandfather had written in wire, 1928, when he did this to house the grapevine. So this big door was going to be a problem because it's not a straightforward door. So I was very pleased to find in the local salvage yard a door that potentially can fit. I'm sure there's going to need to be planing and sanding and grinding for it to fit. There's uh, the bottom part where the hinges are going to be along here. This is peeling paint. That's nice and solid. Up here is not so solid. And you can see in areas it's kind of rotten on this side. And it's very rotten on this side, you can see. But this doesn't matter because it's not gonna hold any weight. So I can put filler in there and then paint it white or gray or hunter green or whatever color I'm thinking of. But uh, my grandfather had it so it opened into the vine house this way. I'm gonna have it so it can open out, I think. I don't know. We'll figure out how it's going to fit because at the moment, uh, this door here is doing the job easily or as best as can be expected. So I had these braces done about 15 years ago because you can see that crack there was happening. So I designed this bracket and got it cut for me and it got bolted into place. So there's that salvation of, of this wall with this unique door in it. As you can see, that's the unique door and I want to keep that, the unique door. And you, mister, I don't want to leave you stuck out here. You're gonna have to go. You're having a lovely time amongst the geraniums. You think there's a bird in here. Yeah, time for you to go out. Go on, out. There we go. Okay, this is my doorstop. Good old traditional solid stone doorstop. Come on pups, out you come. Everybody's out. And we have a very good traditional thing for, you know, holding the door closed. You know, nice, good old fashioned bungee cord. There we go. And then so that the wind doesn't blow it, we have a good old potted plant. So that kind of secures the door from the wind anyway. And also the inside stays warmer. 
So there we go. Next stage. Rah -ha! This is going to be fun. Oh, and we moved the rain barrel to the outside because what was happening was when it was getting really full in winter weather, it was draining out and running straight in there. And it was just turning it, as you can see, it was turning it into mucky. So I got these at a local place very inexpensively. So this now is outside. So the overflow can flow down here and through the potting shed out into the uh, other yard where it drains freely away. So that's the, um, that's an update on the vine house and the potential of a beautiful door found at a local salvage yard. So I don't have to spend two grand, as I've been told by several people approximately, to get a door for there. It was um, not very expensive at the local salvage yard. So there you go. These things, it's great when you find them. It's like when I got all of those windows there, double glazed windows for free, because a friend was just happened to stop by and said, oh, I'm taking something down and I have 18 of these windows. Would you like them? And I said, yes, please. So you never know, slowly but surely, everything is becoming, coming together for the vine house. And there's the bold kitty. Bold kitty mustard is reflection. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? His reflection in the pond. Not the pond, the water trough. Rainwater barrel. <laughs>